This might be one of my favorite interviews, actually, that we've done. But we say that every time. We do, we do. Oh That's my God, true, you guys. Actually. I'm here at Logan Airport, and I'm just about to get on my flight. And I can't wait for our next round of interviews for our country music success stories. See you soon. Where are we, Candy? We are out in front of Chris Lindsay and Amy Mayo's house. And this house was originally built and lived in by Mel Tillis, you know, Pam Tillis. And it's got history like you write about. <laughs> Every time we walk out of one of these interviews, we say, oh, that was the best one ever. And then another one comes along. And I do think that the magic has to do with being in the artist's home. 90% of the songs I grew up listening to on the radio were written in that room. He told us about the first time he worked writing and recording with Taylor Swift. He said she was 15 years old, and as soon as she left, in 90 seconds, he said he picked up the phone, called Scott Borchetta, and said, superstar. Yeah. Let's do six more this week. Why don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Whispering Billy Anderson, legendary, legendary, oh my God. So we're pulled over because JC wants to check her makeup. Prior to which. arriving at Whispering, shh, Whispering Bill Anderson's house. And right before we turned on the camera, Candy told me she was nervous. You've never been nervous for an interview that I know of. Maybe this you have been. is such a legend, singer, songwriter, television star. He's been on like The Tonight Show. He's written books. He's in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. He's a, been artist of the year. He, I, I can't. I'm like, and he's a master interviewer. No pressure. No pressure. Did I do okay? So good. What made this interview extra special was how good he was. Oh, first of all, when you're interviewing somebody who's done talent shows, written books, been on television, including The Tonight Show, you better come with your A game. I have been up since six o'clock this morning preparing for this thing. Preparation is the key. And she's got to drive the car, so we'll see you guys later. One of us has to do the heavy lifting around here. <laughs> Okay, we are in the elevator heading to the Dukes of Hazard interview with John Schneider. Live in large on Music Row. Candy and Chasey on the walls here at the uh, the illustrious John Schneider Spence Manor. <gasps> I have kind of my whole life so far. You're gonna love this. John Schneider is so hot. He was <laughs> very handsome. I sat beside him and I wanted to throw my arms around him and just say, oh, you're so hot. And speaking of hot, shall I tell you my hot pants story? Yes. What are hot pants? Oh, you don't know what hot pants are? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So we're right outside of the um, Daisy Duke, Daisy Country by Catherine Bach and she had on her Daisy Dukes, right? Which were like hot pants. Now hot pants, JC, let me explain, are very short shorts. And when I was going to St. Mary's School in Newington, Connecticut on free dress day, I wore hot pants and they were red. I didn't have heels on or anything, I'm, I'm 12, right? I was promptly sent home from school by sister Patricia Julie. In like a half an hour, I lasted with my red hot pants at St. Mary's. But anyway, I digress. The Dukes of Hazard, Bo Duke on country music success stories. And now, where are we going? Your mama don't dance and your daddy don't rock and roll. We're going to talk to Jim Messina today. So JC and I are pulled over on the side of the road in Leapers Fork, Tennessee. A little remote, very, very beautiful. 
and right across the street there are these two guys and they're putting a tractor i'm not a tractor um <laughs> not a tractor what is it? a lawnmower <laughs> in the back of a truck and they're looking over here like who are these two chicks fixing their makeup outside my house literally on the side of the road jim messina's house as in loggins and messina is right up the road we'll let you know how it goes Professional face on. I might not be able to play it cool. The suds in the bucket and the clothes hanging out on the line. <laughs> Sarah <laughs> Evans. Yay. Oh my God. I'm so excited. We're going to Sarah Evans house today. Control we're gonna, we're yourself. Gonna I am going to try. We will update you and let you know That's how it went. Another amazing day in Nashville. It sure is. Hit it, Sarah. I'm not a professional drummer. Here we go. Okay, make sure you're in the frame. All right, my darling candy, so that they can see you. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? <sighs> Both of our hearts are going Wah! because we just left Sarah Evans' house. Had probably one of the best interviews we've had so far in the series. She's one of the most amazing people I think I've ever met in my life. It felt like it was like a girlfriend's mm -hmm. conversation, honestly. She radiated good person. She That's really what did. It was. She really did. And her house was gorgeous. Oh my god. That was I I almost was started that your crying. fave. Yeah, I think it was. I hate to say that because I love so many of the guests and I feel like I say that's my favorite, that's my favorite, but I right. think there's a difference between a favorite interview and just being around a person that was yeah. your favorite. Like, you know, they say don't meet your heroes. Yeah. Well, Sarah Evans has been a hero of mine for a long time. Yeah. She surpassed my wildest expectations. She was so much more amazing than I could have ever imagined. And in the area where we were in her house, we went all the way up to the third floor because there was a... Um, a guy mowing the lawn and it was, you know, making all this noise and I'm freaking out that my interview is going to get ruined. She goes, oh, no, no, don't worry, we'll go way upstairs. We won't hear a thing. And I would like to also go on record that I'm pretty sure we're going to have to start submitting a disclaimer to our guests that they may cry during their interview with Candy O'Terry. Because today, we're th are we three for three? I think so. I think we're three for three. She makes everybody cry. I made John Schneider cry. <laughs> Jim I made Messina. Jim Messina cry three times, and I made oh Sarah, Sarah like cry. Four times. Yeah, and it's not like they were mad, like mad tears. No, no, no. no. I, we just ask the kinds of questions that get right to the heart. Yeah, they feel comfortable with you. I am so tired. I'm tired too. I need a cocktail. I will drink to that. <laughs> Cheers. We're exhausted, so we met her husband for dinner, which was delightful. This is my second home. Now I'm a Nashville girl, right? I know about co-writes. I know about writer's rounds. I know about songs on hold. You want to know what I learned today? What? What CHR means. Tell me, sister. Hit radio. Amen, sister. Get yourself some radio knowledge. What does AC stand for? Adult contemporary. What is top 40? Top 40 are the top 40 songs that people listen to the most discovered by the man who used to monitor the jukebox way analytics. back in the day back in the before analytics were a thing that's correct this man was before his time he I was am, ahead of his I time i am very proud of you for knowing that very good i passed my quiz of the day folks Woohoo! i'm turning her into a radio girl <laughs> another week of unbelievable country music success stories interviews six of them yesterday being like the bonanza i feel like every day this week has had some form of magic in it don't you? But then again, when we're together, the magic happens. Aww. So I'm, I'm always so grateful because, you know, I fly here from Boston every six weeks and JC and her husband, Mike, put me up at their home. It's getting to be the place where I actually have like my own little apartment you upstairs. Do. I, you like, do. I was all cozy and everything. And cozy. It was great. Let me just say, Candy likes it 
a little bit colder well, in yeah. her apartment then I like it. But that's okay. A cozy blanket. And we are good to go. She'll come into my bedroom and she'll be like, um, I need my mittens and a scarf and a polo. I mean, a, what do you call those? A big a fluffy pullover? jacket pullover or something. I don't know. I can't talk because <laughs> I've been Our interviewing people fried. all week and I cannot speak anymore. Wait till I see my husband and he wants to know all the details and I'm like, I can't talk. You know what you're going to tell him? You're going to say, watch the vlog and listen to the podcast, which we're going to tell you to do right now. Subscribe to our podcast, please. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media. Do all the things. Do all the things at Country Music Success Stories. Because that would make us so happy. And we're grateful for the support of all of our listeners yeah. and followers. Thank you. And until next time, which I'm very sad that you're leaving me today. I know. My heart was going to be empty without I know. you. Well, we talk to each other every day. That's true. I'll Let's blow these tomorrow. people a kiss. Let me fix my hair. I know. <laughs> Look at the two of us. These drums sound so bad. John Schneider. That's me. So far. <laughs> I'm driving the car because this one had four glasses of Prosecco and she's good for shit, okay? And now she's criticizing my driving. Are we Are we doing a video? <laughs> yes, we okay. are. She left the suds in the bucket and the something out. Oh, come on, help me out. Don't mess up my song. <laughs> oh, God. Look, she can't even talk. I'm, I'm telling you right cool. now, I have to... Oh, I'll be sometimes cool. she just goes um, crazy. and.